Hi, Sirius Rears here, back with another Ordinal Markup video, episode 42, and it's been a few hours since the last episode. I can probably get a ton of Dark Manifolds here. Let's see. I can get all the way up to E20 Dark Manifolds. I did purchase this off camera, so that does help. That gives me a 400 times multiplier on the dynamic factor capped. I can get one, two, three, four, four of these upgrades, and then I can get one, two, three of these upgrades. So. That's, that's gonna that's gonna really help things and but most of all the singularity I'm gonna be able to upgrade it a ton of times like I can already do it one two times which gives me a level 35 singularity but the big thing is when I refund my singularity points by exiting the challenge so I'm just gonna yeah I'm gonna exit the challenge here I don't think I can complete yeah I cannot complete it but I'm going to collapse just so I can. Um, you know, get the re refund point. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna yeah, collapse here. Um, I'm honestly just gonna keep doing this while I can to get more refund points. And yeah, now now I can't collapse. So I'll just do I'll just do these challenges. It's probably really easy. Yeah, it's it's super easy to do all these challenges. You like all of them. So okay, maybe not this one quite as much. But if I exit the challenge, actually that's still zero completions. I would have thought I was a little more than zero completions. Interesting. Is it because I probably just don't have enough boosters? Okay, I exit the challenge. Just just factor boost a few times. Now should give me a good amount of boosters. Yeah, it's definitely a lot easier. And at the very least, why am I not getting any challenge completions? I don't know. I thought I was gonna get like some challenge completions. Whatever. I guess I can, I guess I can do it uh, the manual way where I I do that. And then it's probably yeah uh, I can I still can't get three completions, oddly enough. So it's it's actually a little bit slower than I expected it to be, but it's still not terrible. And okay, why don't why no okay there it is. I'm re really not sure why the cap is E two fifty six instead of something higher. Oh, it's also I'm forgetting challenge eight, the most important challenge of all of them all. Um, I can yeah I can just. Do that and get 12 completions. I keep for, I keep forgetting about that challenge. There's yeah. The rest of these challenges are gonna be jokes, and I'm ready to refund the singularity here. So what I'm gonna do with 35, all I'm gonna do is just reduce dark manifold singularity scaling to times four. This is gonna allow me to get one, no one, two, three, Almost four, but just no, just three singularity levels. That gets me to singularity level 38, which will allow, which allows me to get. First of all, I'm gonna refund here and get this. Multiply olive power multipliers by 1.5. This will allow me to, like maybe I don't think I don't think possibly it'll allow me to reach. Um, nine E thirty three ordinal points. I'm not really sure if it will. It doesn't really look like it. It will, but maybe it will. No, it doesn't. It's not looking like that. Maybe I should just get some more factor boosts. I like. I don't even. Have, I don't have a lot of boosters right now, so I'm. I'm just. I'll just exit the challenge. I really do want to unlock baseless milestones, but I think that's just a little tricky. I should just start upgrading the singularity. And maybe I could have downgraded it to get more, you know, challenge eight stuff. But I'm just gonna, I, I'm gonna start upgrading the singularity to get more factor boosts per second. Because look at this, eighteen thousand factor boosts per second. I think the max I had before was like a little under under three thousand. So, like all of a sudden, I'm up to, I'm up to twenty thousand factor boosts per second, and I'm actually close to. Let's see if I do this. Um, okay, no, I. It's not going to be anything. If I, I'm just going to see. If I upgrade it a few more times, this will allow me to... Oh, I thought for a second I was already at omega squared times 2. It looks like right now 27 is the most optimal singularity level. This should give me a lot of factor boosts. Like, I'm hoping for, like, near nearly a billion. That's, that's what I'm hoping for. Because if I can get that many factor boosts, that, that will allow me to get a lot of cardinals, which will give me singularity levels and just... A lot of stuff. I can maybe also try incrementy if I. I'm just gonna see if I can get any incrementy upgrade. It's here if I um, just quickly turn off the factor boost auto procedure. Just 
Yes, I can get some increments. E53. I can probably actually... I should probably upgrade the singularity here. And it looks like it's it's only slow if I'm going all the way to, like, max singularity. But that gives me more incrementy. E57, which is huge. This is going to get me another manifold. Which, that, that means that's another singularity level right there. Maybe I can even get the next manifold after this. So now I'm up to... Uh, up to 39 singularity level, which is pretty amazing. And not only that, I can get E60 incrementy, and then that will allow me to double the production of incre incrementy again, and then I can raise the base incrementy multiplier to the 1.05, which will probably give me another manifold, which will get, which will bring my singularity level to 40, which is pretty insane. Like I was at, tw I was at like 23 earlier today. And now I'm going to get up to 40. So this is... I, I see why people call this like the fast section of singularity functions. I also, I'm not sure if there's anything... No, there's nothing after here. So I right now have five functions that are doing nothing. I feel like what I should do at this point is just... Like, is, is just, you know, get grind some more factor boosts. Because I feel like I've grinded enough decrementy, and I probably need some more cardinals, some more olive power, so I, I can actually get enough to unlock baseless milestones. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to, I will um, turn on this auto procedure, and then, and then lower the singularity level a little bit, so I can start getting factor boosts. So, let's see, 23,000 at singularity level 29. So, that's pretty insane. Like, I'm... Like I'm, I feel like that's almost 10 times as much as before. In a day, that should give me about 2 billion in a day. So in just 12 hours, that's a billion. So that, that's how fast this is. And probably if I upgrade the singularity just a little beyond, I'm just going to upgrade it to like maybe like 32. And that will probably, like this will eventually become more efficient than some of the other singularity levels. So... That should give it could give me like twenty five to thirty thousand factor boosts per second, like a couple hours from now. So, yeah, this is gonna this is very powerful, and hopefully I can get a lot of cardinals from this. So yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back like a day later, and I have enough factor boosts that I will be able to get a lot of cardinals here. What I'm, what I'm first gonna do, I'm going to. Um, go to not I mean, maybe I can get some incrementy, but it looks like I could have gotten some more singularity levels to increase my factor boost per second. I probably should have gone singularity 39. I can go all the way to 40, but 40 is not quite as efficient. I'm not sure. Maybe 40 will be um, would possibly give me some incrementy. I mean, I'm not sure if this is going to do anything, but. Let's just give it a try if it gives anything. Uh, no, it's not really going to give um, any increment here. So I think what I should just do is collapse, and this will give me a lot of cardinals here. So, I mean, first there's e, no, E20 e here, which actually is, is a surprise, but I that, that's not the main thing, because the main thing is um, the factor boost that I'm going to keep. I can collapse for E23 cardinals and if I downgrade the singularity enough to a point where I can actually get factor boosts I could I could even get a little bit further so I have to downgrade the singularity all the way to level 5 which is interesting but the main thing is just how many cardinals I can collapse for I don't think I can really get all that much like from like these factor boosts it's more just going to be based on like what I already have like the factor boost I already have here. So you can see this not going to increase all that much in a thousand seconds. I mean, it may give me a marginally better um, cardinal amounts, but I think just like collapsing like this and then getting E21 cardinals per second is going to be the best thing because that's going to allow me to get a lot of... I'm going to be able to get like reduce the dark manifold, sing, like you know, reduce this scaling down times 30 so yeah i think i'm gonna do that i'm i may try to grind some more decrementy I'm, I'm not exactly sure what i should do i feel like maybe the, with these cardinals i can 
get, I can try like challenge eight, um, possibly. Actually, I don't have these challenges complete. I should probably, I, sh I should probably just quickly do them. Yeah, he, yeah, they're, they're, they're so easy. Like, just every, every single one of them is just a cakewalk. And like, e e even challenge eight. So, I'm, I do want to just try to see if it's possible to get, like, you know, the next, the next completion of challenge eight. Doesn't really look like it's possible. I don't, I mean, I don't think I could really be using a much better build here. So, I'm, I'm just gonna need more cardinals, unfortunately. And, I mean, I could try to grind decrement here, but this is not the most efficient way to grind it. I'm, I'm, I think I'm just gonna try to go for more factor boost. Or maybe I should grind some decrement Actually, I'll, I'll refund, because I, I have some refund points. And maybe that'll help, that'll help me grind some decrement I'm not exactly sure how much I should grind for. I mean, I can go all the way to E19. I'm not even at Singularity level 1 right now. So if I do downgrade Singularity to as low as possible, that'll give me more decrement -y. It looks like I'll be able to get a little bit of decrement -y. It won't be all that much, but maybe it'll be something. And perhaps by the end of this, I'll be able to get like more ordinal points, enough, enough to unlock Baseless Milestones. So... Yeah, there's really not much else I can do here. Like, I mean, I could try to get some Aleph Omega, which boosts the Aleph 1 multiplier, which I don't even think it's all that important. It's just Tier 2 automation, which will give, it, again, just a marginally better factor boost per second. And the dynamic factor cap. That could help because a lot of a lot of things are based on the dynamic factor cap. So, I mean, could just distribute all. I can actually get all the way up to E24, finally, with the... Like if I, like for example, if I just go to all of upgrades and start buying, yeah, I, I can do that. I can get up to E24, which I guess is pretty cool, except that it's not even going to be useful. It's not going to allow me to get any more, like, singularity because of, of, of the, this upgrade here. So, there's really not much else I can do. I'm sort of stuck at singularity level 40, but I think if I just grind enough decrementy and... Just have enough cardinals, like, like, I'll definitely be able to get all the way up to, like, E26 cardinals in a few hours. And I can get, like, one E26 on all of these, which will definitely help, the, like, the production of all of power. Like, I feel like that could give me quite a bit of multiplier to ordinal point gain. And it just may be enough to get, you know this up to 9 e33 ordinal points or at least that's that's the hope so yeah okay i'm back another day later and i have e4 e20 nice decrementy and this allows me to get reduced potency upgrade again 1.2 multiple times multiplier to tier 1 and 2 and up to 1.4 e21 dark manifolds so like, I, th I think with the, if I do, not, not collapse, but you know, if I, I mean, actually I can distribute all cardinals here. That This will definitely help. This gives me E133 olive power, which is definitely going to help with the ordinal gain here. But what I was actually going to do is go into singularity functions so I can, like, I think what I can do here, I'm going to refund just so I can reduce the the Dark Manifold Singularity Scaling so times 4. And this will allow me to get another Singularity Function. I think. Hopefully. Or, yeah, a Singularity Level. I can actually get two Singularity Levels out of this. So this gets me up to Singularity Level 42. Which is nice. But I think what I can I can also do is, since I have, like, so much, like, Olive Power here. Just, like, yeah. E26. This will allow me to... If I go into all of upgrades and buy max half here, this gets me 5e25 Aleph Omega. Which, if I refund again and go here, this should give me, a, again, one... Actually, it looks like I can probably get the next upgrade here if I, like, spend the rest of my Aleph Omega on, you know, like, on, you know, yeah, the Aleph Omega. I, I don't know what I was trying to say there, but... Anyway, 
That means I'm up to Singularity level 44, which is really... That, that's really good. And what I can do is I can refund again, so I can multiply all of power multipliers by 1.5. And this will allow me, I think, hopefully, to get 9e33 ordinal points. Or not, apparently. I have no idea. It's probably... Is it because of this? I have no idea why. Is it my singularity level? Maybe I should try to get some manifolds. Because they may positively affect... No? I don't, I don't get it. I thought I was going to be able to get more stuff from this. Singularity 44. And I can cannot beat the challenge. I don't get it. I, there, there's nothing I can actually do to like, like speed anything up or get, get any more ordinal points. I thought I was going to be able to beat the challenge here. But no. That's really surprising. I mean, at least I'm up to singularity level 44. Which, honestly, I feel like 44 is a little overpowered for, like, you know, where I am. But there's really not much else I can do. But actually, maybe there is some stuff I can do. Because an update dropped. Okay, I've reloaded the page, and apparently, yeah, the, up the update did drop. So, you can notice a couple of changes here. I mean, if there's, it's not, I don't think there's really all that, that much stuff that's really relevant to where I am. But... There's like refund all singularity functions. I mean, I could try this for, you know, I mean, this is the same as before, but it can buy max singularity functions. Um, it, it's 100 RP, so no, so that, that, that's not what I should do. But I think what I should do instead is maybe use my last RP to, instead of doing this upgrade, I should do that, and maybe that'll get me the ordinal points I need, maybe. Yeah, it does give me the ordinal points I reach. That's going to be next episode, though. I'm, I'm just going to say that. The rest of this episode is just going to be exploring all the new stuff that the update brought, which is probably minimal. I mean, there is this, Unlock Challenge 9, so I guess that's cool. There's Maybe if I go to Booster Upgrades, there's new stuff. Yeah, it looks like yeah this upgrade was just scrapped because... It didn't really do anything. There's also unlock Omega challenges, which is E21 boosters and 37 challenge completions. And is there anything else here? I don't. It doesn't look like there's really much else to focus on. So yeah, and there's also unlock the portal where I need 616 singularity functions. So and four basal smile stones, which I I don't even have yet. But that's gonna be next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.